Welcome to Gospel Greetings number 107. Last week we started discussing the full armor of God from Ephesians 6. You remember this? Finally, be strong in the Lord and in his mighty power. Put on the full armor of God so that you can take your stand against the devil's scheme. For our struggle is not against flesh and blood, but against all these spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly realms. Therefore, put on the full armor of God so that when the day of evil comes, you may be able to stand your ground and after you have done everything to stand. We said that by appropriating God's power, you can overcome all the attacks of the evil one. This week, we will be continuing on the full armor of God. And how do you activate this armor? Well, the answer is prayer. Look at Ephesians 6.18, just farther down. And pray in the Spirit on all occasions with all kinds of prayers and requests. With this in mind, be alert and always keep on praying for all the saints. First thing we see here is praying always. You'll remember from last week that we were beginning the discussion of full armor against spiritual attacks. Now, if we need armor and we're in a battle, what does that make us? Yeah, soldiers. So as a Christian soldier, prayer is indispensable. Prayer is the key to activating and empowering all the other pieces of armor. While all but one other piece of armor are defensive, both prayer and the sword of the spirit are offensive in nature. No matter how complete your armor, no matter how skilled you are as a soldier, no matter how courageous, you can be certain that without prayer, you will be defeated. And why is that? Because it is a spiritual battle, and God alone can give the victory in spiritual things. So when we as Christian marketplace soldiers go forth armed completely for the spiritual conflict, when we look to God in prayer, we can be sure of triumph. But this prayer cannot be intermittent. It has to be always, in every temptation and spiritual conflict, we are to pray. Like Jesus said in Luke 18, 1, that we ought to pray always and not lose heart. The second thing we see is with all prayer and supplication, all kinds of prayer and requests, prayer in your closet, prayer with the family, prayer for a business meeting, prayer when you're tempted. As it says in Matthew 6, 6, but you, when you pray, go into your closet or your room and pray to your father who is in the secret place and your father who sees in secret will reward you openly. This reminds me of Brother Jeff Ritzkis, who was speaking to a friend about a compensation issue in their employment. This friend had been anxious and uncertain about this issue for a month, unable to properly craft an email to his supervisor. Jeff simply asked him, have you prayed about it? Seems simple enough, but he said no. He had read his Bible and prayed for his family in the morning, but he had never thought to bring it to God. Eventually, he prayed and sent in the email. And guess what? Within a few hours, he was given twice the raise he asked for. See, he prayed about other stuff, but never brought his work issues to God and was filled with anxiety for a month because of it. It's like the old song, Oh, what peace we often forfeit. Oh, what needless pain we bear. All because we do not carry everything to God in prayer. See, by appropriating God's power, you can overcome all the attacks of the evil one. And prayer is the key piece for activating all the other pieces of armor. Will you activate your armor today?